player. Now I see everybody doing the iPod now and all that. So, you know, I had my CD player, my, you know, my BCD, my J arms or something. Like, you know what I mean, my, my, my Sycamore or something. Okay. And, um, you know, it just so happened that, that Kerry Ferguson, you know, shout out to Kerry uh, from City Records, she was actually on the train with me. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I was just, I was just, you know, in the zone, man, doing what I was doing. And um, before I got off, she gave me a card and all that and just was like, yo, you know, call me. You know, it's that shady records, whatever the case may be. I, of course, I wasn't thinking, you know, you know, Eminem or nothing, you know what I'm saying? But, right. you know, uh, I, at first I really wasn't going to give her a call. You know, I just was like, you know, whatever. I heard, I heard people say, you know, you're nice or whatever the case may be, but never nothing serious. But anyway, I decided to give her the call. And, uh, you know, she, she explained to me who she was. She was A&R for Shady at the time. And um, mm-hmm. she just was like, yo, like, you had everybody young and old listening to you, man, on the train. So she was like, you know, I think we could do something. And um, okay. from there, the rest is history. Okay. So now, if you want to elaborate more on that, that situation. Yes. Um, did you have more meetings with her? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. It, you know, it, it was definitely, you know, some artist development going on. And you know I'm saying, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people may know me from the Fight Club. You know what I'm saying? You know, I go by Harlem Red. A lot of other people know me by Red Nose. You know what I'm saying? I was okay. chewing, you know, chewing dudes down to death. You already know what it is, man. Uh, chewing dudes' heads off. Um, but, yeah, man, some artist development. But, you know, what could I say, man? You know, shouts to Riggs. You know what I mean? Shouts to Dark Law. Everybody from the Shady Crew. You know what I'm saying? But, um... You know, things happen, man. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, uh, the deal didn't go through, and I had to keep it moving. Now, was that on their end, or? It, it was more of a mutual thing. Okay. It was more of a mutual thing. You know what I'm saying? We had some differences, and, um, you know, it just it, it wasn't workable. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real I'm a real prideful dude. Um, I feel as if you don't stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I tried to just, you know, uh, stick to my guns and be real with myself. Okay, so that was your first encounter with quote unquote this this worldly yeah yeah this industry, industry thing, man situation. yeah yeah all right so now you find yourself back on the ground yeah basically. yeah back so, at it where did you take it from there oh from there you know I I made you know I, I made a lot of relationships that um that that pretty much I kept secure you know what I'm saying like I'm the type of person where I don't burn bridges because you never know when you got to walk over them again. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So I kept a lot of relationships with different people, and I, I just kept making music. You know what I'm saying? But on the independent le- uh, level as far as, like, getting in the studio and, you know, putting my own money out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a firm believer. Like, yo, if you don't invest in yourself, nobody else going to invest in you, man. You know what I'm saying? So I make sure every chance I get, I invest in my own stuff. And as I, as I see, you know what I'm saying, everything is always official from the covers to the videos. Everything is always official. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, I, I hold it down, man. You know what I'm saying? And I want the ladies to know, like, yo, listen, man, like, um, I'm a golden artist, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I put my money where my mouth is. I believe in my career. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm going to keep doing it the way I need to do it. Okay. Um, now, with that said, I heard you said you put your own money into your own product. Yeah, of course. Um, with the way that things are now, for us with new technology, mm-hmm. now, I don't even think you even need a lot of, yeah. A, a record for quote unquote label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like there's a lot of YouTube sensations. Yeah, yeah. You know, so um, first question, it's a it's a part A and part B question. Um, for with this new technology, what what are you doing to get Harlem Red? out there in this, this new age. Oh, new age world. I mean, y'all already know what it is, man. Y'all see me on Twitter. Y'all see Skrilla on Twitter. Y'all see Rio. <laughs> y'all see Get em Girl on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the team is heavy, man. Shout out to Quay and all that. You know what I'm saying? He on deck. Like, you know what I'm saying? We pretty much the MySpace YouTube, man. I, I'm strong, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm more of an up close and personal kind of dude, but I see, like, the, the internet is a real, real great marketing promotion tool, man. So, I'm using it as much as possible. Like, you know what I'm saying? Every chance I get, I'm on Twitter. I see it all day, every day. Like I said, with my team, YouTube, MySpace. Like, I'm trying to shut down every corner of the internet, man. Okay. Now, I asked you that because um, this past weekend, I just recently did a sound. Uh, shout out to Soundgarden Entertainment that I, I work for as well. We did a, a concert for Asian mm. artists. Wow. And I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm looking, you know, I have to do the spotlight and everything. And these little Asians come out here rapping just just serious. Really though? I'm, I'm really. <laughs> I, I wish I would have, you know, it was light enough or I had a, a good enough camera yeah. to really take some of it. But... 
Yo, they had about about twelve, fifteen hundred people to come to the event. Yeah, that's what it is, man. So it really took me like, wow, this this YouTube and this this Twitter thing and it works, man. You know, all through the all through the, the it's uh, worldwide. Yeah, all through mm -hmm. the the, uh, the concert. They was taking their phones and yo, you on Twitter. I mean, you on YouTube now. Mm -hmm. But you know, um, hip hop is really big in China. Like they love hip hop. Yeah, that's why. Yo, shout out to China, man. Holla at me, man. Holla at me. Yeah. I, I need, I need, I need some. Um, you know, I need some shows out there. So, <laughs> you know I'm I got my passport. Yeah. Yes. He was from all over Canada. You know, LA. Hip hop yeah. is big. There's one thing. Let me get back to the interview. You mm -hmm. know, I know this is a sidebar, like this. Uh, B. Was it B. Rad? Okay. Some, some cat. Uh -huh. Yeah, I heard of him, B-Rad. Yeah, Asian dude. Okay. And he come out and, you know, he doing his little... Uh, One, two, and all that. <laughs> you know, okay, okay. ...shit by, by Arizona. Yeah, but anyway... Yeah, we, yeah shout to you, man, but you already know, man. It's Harlem <laughs> Red Show, baby. <laughs> that was we'll get back at it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, um, the, um, the second part of the question is, um, with today's music, yeah. like, how did, how did, what do you feel about it? I mean, um, because I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be real, man. Like, you know what I'm saying, um, I don't, I'm not impressed with a lot of music, man. Like right now, I'm like, I'm not even a radio guy. I got to be real, man. Like, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, it, it's cool, but I feel like it's, you know, what I'm saying, it's, it's not too much heartfelt good music, man. Like, you know what I'm saying. Like, you know, I, I'm at the point where I'm tired of, you know, hustling music. I'm tired of, you know, gun shooting and gang banging. Like, you know, it's cool. You know, whatever you want to do. But as far as me, like, man, I want to go to party and have fun, man. Like, I want to go to party and feel good. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want, I want when people hear my music, I want, I want them to feel good about themselves. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or, or at, at least, like, you know be able to go through a a, a story or not I mean something entertainment entertaining man not entertaining about killing you know your your mother your grandmother your squirrels or whatever else your cats your kittens your puppies it, it's nothing entertaining about that man like you know what i'm saying so okay, okay. all right so here what we're going to do right now we're going to get into some of your joints yeah uh you gave me a cd yeah yeah i don't know the order uh, this is actually the first time I'm hearing the music. Yeah, yeah. And I, I truly, that's one of the things I do. I don't listen to the artist's music before. Mm -hmm. Once I do the interview, this is the first time that I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah. You know, and plus as a DJ, mm -hmm. you know, we're trained, even though we might not like the song, mm -hmm. but the other people might like it. Mm -hmm. So we have to play it because mm -hmm. the people like it, and that's how we get paid. It's only so, right. You know, <laughs> um, introduce the track. And when we come back, we're going to get into um, some more things about Harlem. All right, you know who it is, man. It's Harlem Red, the Prince, the only Prince, the prototype, man. You listening to my first single that I let go. Y'all might have heard it on Hot 97 from MV, Mr. C. You already know what it is, man. Swaggerific. Holla at me. Yeah. Mm. See people tuning in and all that. <laughs> 